Hi there, welcome to Ecology Lecture Video. This is Lecture Video 3B. This is part of Lecture Video 3. It's just an addendum I added to it. I know that some of you are going to struggle analyzing food webs. So this is some extra information. Now you do not have this in your notes. I will give you the answers to all these questions one through 10, but let's see how much you know after watching uh, the first lecture video number three. So this, is, this will be lecture video 3B for this ecology unit. So it's an additional lecture video to help you understand food webs. All right, so let's go through, let's analyze this food web. You've already seen this food web in your lecture already, previous lecture, but I never really analyzed that. I analyzed a much simpler one. So let's go through one that's a little bit more complicated. First question, how many, I'm not, I'm gonna give you the answers of, for these all at the end. If I were you, I would pause as you go or pause right now, try to answer one through 10 on your own, see if you can get them all correct and then continue watching the video and see if you got them right. And then if you got them all right, then you know what you're doing, okay? So that's my tip to you. This is complicated. This is a really messy web of arrows and you have to be able to follow arrows and it could get messy, all right? So let's go through it. How many producers are found on this web? Well, producers have no arrows pointing at them. You're going to be getting food webs with letters and no pictures. So if there's just letters there, how do you know the producers? No arrows point at them. There's a producer, no arrow points at it. No arrow points at this one, none here and none there. Four producers we have on this food web. Number two, which order consumers is the rat, all right? Or which order consumer is the rat? Let's go through the rat. The rat, right there, okay? There's a path to get there. There's one path to get there. The energy goes from corn to grasshopper to rat. So zero, no number here. That's not a consumer. Zero, one, two. The rat is a second, a two. That is the number the rat eats at, the second order. How many omnivores can be found on this food web? Well, omnivores eat the producer and something else. Fruit fly only eats producer, so that's an herbivore, all right? Butterfly eats two different producers. Well, they're still producers, so that makes it an herbivore. Grasshopper eats only corn. That makes it an herbivore. All the organisms we have that eat our producers only eat producers. So we have no omnivores. Zero omnivores are on this actual food web. Which order consumers is the wolf? The wolf is right here in the middle. And there, look, there's an arrow getting there here and an arrow coming from here, which means there's more than one way to get to the wolf. So we need to figure out all the different ways to get to the wolf and then at and, and give those orders, all right? So let's figure out the wolf. Let's try to keep it simple. Zero, one, two, three. So the wolf we know is a three, okay? Now we know we can get there from a different direction. So we're just following arrows back here. So let's go this way. So we know it's a three. Zero, one, two, three, okay? We got three again. We know it's a three. Now let's see if there's another way to get there. Zero, one, two, three, four. All right, so the wolf is a three and a four. Let me show you the four again. Lavender to butterfly, butterfly's a first. Butterfly to dragonfly, the dragonfly's a second. Dragonfly to thrush, that makes the thrush a third. Thrush to wolf, wolf is now a fourth. So we know it's a three and a four. It's two feeding levels. The wolf, to get this correct on an assignment, you'd have to say it's a third, a three, and a four. Which trophic levels does the python belong to? Okay. Well, first, let's find the simple way there. Zero, one, two, three. We know it's a three. Okay, so the first feeding level is a three. We know the python eats after the wolf. And we just said the wolf is a three and a four. So when the wolf is a three, the python is a four. When the wolf is a four, the python is a five. Let me show you those paths. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Zero, one, two, three. Okay. Ready for the next one? Zero, one, two, three, four. So the python is a three, a four, and a five. It belongs to three different feeding levels. This gets complicated. That's why I'm going over this. Which trophic levels does the frog belong to? All right, there's two ways to get to the frog. There's more than two ways to get to the frog. There's a few ways to get there. So zero, one, two, it's a two. Zero, one, two, 
zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three. So the frog is a two and a three, two and a three. Which organism, comp organism competes with the rat? Well, the rat eats the grasshopper and the frog eats the grasshopper. So the rat's competitor is the frog. Which organism should have the least abundant, which means as you go up by feeding levels, you have less and less mass. So the very top of the food chain should have the least mass. So the answer to this one um, is the eagle. Least abundant biomass would be the eagle. All right. Number nine, how many carnivores? Carnivores eat consumers. Okay, so they don't eat the producer. Grasshopper eats producer, butterfly eats producer, fruit fly eats producer, and those are producers. So the ones here, these are all the ones you'd exclude. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carnivores are on this food web. How many herbivores are on this food web? One, two, three, three herbivores on this food web. And here are the answers for you. Right there in case you didn't have, get a chance to write them down. All right. So this is analyzing a little bit more detailed food web. Beware of what you're looking for. Producers have no arrows pointing at them. You're going to get some more complicated food webs to look at. All right. Good luck.